course, there's a boy. There's a boy. You're on. Ready? Yep. Okay. Um, as I said before, I was going to provide a tutorial for how to clean the grease out of these industrial bearings and uh, get them to be faster right off the bat. Um, these are super good value. Usually you can get them for a dollar or less. Uh, this batch I happen to be able to get for less than a dollar and was able to sell them for uh, $12.50 for a set of sex 16, which is a uh, pretty awesome price. Set of sex, eh? Set of sex. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show everybody how to pull one of these shields off and take the grease out. Um, some people have been saying, you know, maybe we'll just pull the shield out with a uh, toothpick. Um, I've already got a hole in this one from a pick. I'm going to use this skewer over here. I'm just going to show you guys that it is not possible to get these shields off with a toothpick or even a robust skewer like this. All right, so I'll insert into this hole that I have here and it's just going to break the skewer. It's, it's not going to work. You need to use something like this to actually poke through in and then pry out. Huh, these are a little bit more robust than the last ones I got. Anyway, that'll pull them out. As you can see, they're totally packed with grease, right? And that's because these are non-service bearings. They're meant to be put into a machine, run at thousands of RPM for a really long period of time, and when they wear out, you throw them away and uh, replace them. Okay, but these work really well for skates. So anyway, what you're going to need to do after you get this shield off is you're going to need to get a container with lacquer thinner, uh, turpentine, some sort of petroleum distillate which is going to dissolve this grease which is basically just oil and paraffin wax okay so the, what you would do is you would take a full set of these or however many you have pull all of the shields off drop it into a container with a bunch of grease shake it up let it sit for a while so that the grease is going to dissolve what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up with fairly clean but as you can see there's still little bits of stuff in there okay so then you'll have to take your pick or your toothpick and you'll have to go in there and you'll have to pick some of these little bits of stuff out and then rinse them again right when I when I do these usually I rinse them twice I rinse them in alcohol and then I rinse them in just soapy water and let them dry uh, on a towel um, it's dry enough in Alberta, you don't have to worry about them getting rusty. Uh, you can use a hairdryer if you want. And then what I do is, just to show you guys how much oil needs to get put in here, just let me go and grab my oil. motor oil. This is a uh, castor oil synthetic. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, just to show you guys how much oil I actually put on bearings, I'm just going to dip the end of this skewer into it. Now if you look really close, you can see how much oil is on the end of that little tiny drip. That's how much oil I put in my bearings. All right. All you need is enough so that the bearings don't make any noise and have a little bit of oil as a cushion. All right, because we're really, if you take a look at how much weight we put on our bearings, um, we've got 16 bearings total, and I weigh like 150 pounds. That's like 10 pounds of bearing. That's nothing. So you don't need to use a crazy amount of oil or any super lube or anything like that. What I'll do is I'll put a drop on one of the actual bearings, right? So I'll drop it in and just 
touch it on the edge and then I'll spin it and if it still makes noise I'll put another drop in and then usually it quits making noise after that and that's it. No more oil than that and that way you don't end up getting oil spraying out all over your wheels which you don't want because it's a pain in the butt to clean, dust sticks to it and then you want to clean your bearings again because you got dust and dirt suck all over them. Anyway, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. How to pull a shield off, clean the grease off, and re-oil your bearings. How do you keep them from getting all gunky? How do you keep them from getting all Since gunky? Since there's no shields on Since them. Since there's no shield on one side, what you do is you have the shield side facing out of the wheel. You put this side into the center of the wheel, and that way you still have a shield preventing dust from getting in. You don't want to pull the shields off both sides like this, because then you just end up having to uh, clean them more often, because they're going to get gummed up with stuff. So, shield side to the outside of the wheel, right, on both. And that way, this stays cleaner. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.